Hello everyone. So this is actually really exciting today. Um, I'm sure Jackie and Claire are very jealous because I've got the good job today of talking to the wonderful Alex. Now Alex is a public rights speaker, a human rights speaker in Australia, which is really amazing to be speaking across the pond. So hello Alex. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm on the other side of the world. Definitely interesting. Oh, I'm not surprised. It's it's quite amazing how the internet is doing this. I'm just going to leave it there on that one. So tell us, how did you get into um, public speaking? How, what sort of started it about, about you and why is it that you're so passionate about speaking what you do? So I started by writing a speech for a school competition, a school public speaking competition. And I made it to the finals with that speech and I was like, oh, maybe I'm half thinking of this. <laughs> and I met up with my local council who I'd been uh, sort of, I'd known people there for a while and were like, oh, yeah, we could do something with this. And I started working with a mental health organisation called Origin. Mm -hmm. and I fed up with an associate professor there, which I didn't realise at the time, but that's really important. <laughs> like, very, very high up. And I had no idea about that at the time, but then afterwards, one of the councils was like, uh, you know that she's like close to head of the company, like very high. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, and that was a really great experience working on some data that was collected from LGBTIQ+ individuals mm. around mental health and their experiences with mental health and suicide prevention. And I got to present that twice in different occasions and it was definitely an eye-opening experience and that sort of kick-started my whole, I want to do this as a career yeah. and I want to make a difference in my little corner of the world. Yeah, so you speak about um, not only mental health, but also LGBT plus rights. Um, yeah. So would you say that they both link to each other or would you, is it just that you speak about two completely different areas of, of your world? They absolutely link. So sometimes I'll focus on one more than the other. And sometimes I'll focus on one completely, but a lot of the time I meld the two. Because yeah. in my experience, my mental health was severely impacted by the fact that I'm trans. Right. And I think in a lot of cases, that's the same for a lot of queer youth. So addressing that and talking about that, I think, is really important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I, I really do agree. I think they both definitely influence each other. I think it'd be you'd have to be pretty blind to, to see that they weren't because they, you know, it's, it's the whole idea of not feeling like you can be who you want to be and not, you know, being yourself that it, it, of course it's going to mental, it's going to impact on your mental health. Of course it is. So as you mentioned, you are transgender. Um, yeah. So how, how is it that, that sort of, fuels you how how does that make you think this is you know this is what I want to do because I need to make some difference and what is the differences that you, you're trying to make the difference I'm trying to make sort of changes over time I think yeah it started off as like oh, I could do a couple of speeches and some people will listen to me and be impacted in that way yeah. And then it changed my whole career path. And now I'm looking at moving into politics and law and working on policy and changing the laws that surround queer youth and their rights. And uh, particularly trans youth, I think, because we Australia itself has made a lot of changes in the last few years, but there's a long way to go. And I think I really want to be a part of that change. So. Yeah, it definitely changed my whole life in a completely positive way, which I think needs to be highlighted because more often than not, it's the story of, oh, this 
being trans ruined me. Yeah. And it did for a time, but I'm better than I ever was. And I have, like, my future is brighter than it was ever going to be. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's it's pretty powerful what you've just said. Um, it, it's true. It went, once you do accept and find a way to be that person that you've always wanted to be, I, I think it must be so liberating and so so much like you've finally found you you're finally the alex that you've always wanted to be so yeah i really i really respect you for finding that especially so early in your life as well um thank you yeah. so alex has a instagram which you you post your your sort of updates and what what you're up to on don't you alex j speaks yes. that's what it's called and i managed to see actually your video, you know, the, the year's comparison of your, your testosterone yeah. medication. And I was like, oh my gosh, I actually did realise how much effects the tablets actually had. Like I knew obviously they did a lot, but I, I've never seen it. I've never, you know, witnessed it. And I'm surprised that more people haven't witnessed it because that it's pretty amazing, wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, that was probably like, I was like, oh, this is a bit cringy, but I'm going to do it anyway just to see what it's like. And I know that I'll appreciate it at one point. Yeah. And like, because I'll do another one this month because it's one and a half years this month. Right. Um, so I've slowed it down a bit just because it's not, I don't think it's as noticeable mm -hmm. uh, now. So it's easier to just do six month intervals. But yeah, definitely like that it's a really stark difference when you go from the first video that that's on there to the last one. Yeah. And I looked at those recently actually, and I was very surprised because I hadn't seen them in a while. Yeah. I, I was actually, I, it was a carousel. So you sort of swipe for the next video and I was like, Oh yeah. Okay. And then I was like, Wait, what? <laughs> it's like a, a whole new person, but a much stronger individual. You, you can see how much, confidence that you'd been filled with in, in that space of a year and obviously that was the, the part of the year that you started to build up your your passion and your new career so that's you know it, it all coincides so obviously you know we, we can't escape it we're in over here we're in lockdown still for the coronavirus how do you go on are <laughs> you're not in lockdown we technically are you technically are, okay. Um, but how do you think that lockdown will impact the mental health of not only adults, but young, young people? How, what do you think is gonna be the biggest outcome of this, a negative outcome? I don't, that's difficult, just because I think now that like, because all, all kids uh, in Victoria, at least, which is the state that I'm in, mm -hmm. they all return to school by Wednesday next week. Right, okay. So at the moment, we only have year 11 and 12, which is uh, 16 to 18 years. Yeah. Back at school at the moment. And, uh, and prep students in twos. So, like, five to seven or eight. Mm-hmm year old kids and that's just to like slow down in case there is an outbreak it's more controlled as there's kids yeah. in schools um but obviously the early years are the most important and so are the last so that's why we're back right and it's changed my mental health completely so it's kind of hard to remember what it was like in right. quarantine but I know that if I was in there for much longer, it wasn't going to go well. Yeah. I think my motivation yeah. was dwindling, <laughs> especially in school. Yeah. I, I think it's it's pretty. We're pretty on the same wavelength over here because a lot of young people are so constantly in their bubble and in their own head, alone with their thoughts that it's it's like. At this point, yeah, it, it's important to stay indoors, but, you know, these people do need to 
get out and socialize otherwise things are going to be a lot worse a lot lot worse and we're going to have another crisis on our hands yeah so, and i think social media was a good short-term solution to that mm -hmm. but in the long term it's just not the same yeah and you can't compare it and it's yeah it's just hard to do you think do you think going back to school has helped your mental health absolutely yeah I have missed my friends so much. <laughs> and seeing them, we kind of broke quarantine rules and we had a hug because we just missed each other so much. I think it was like 10 weeks since we'd seen each other, which is longer than our summer holidays. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I, there's no way I can't relate to that. That is, you know, it's it's the dream to be able to go up to your friend and hug them again, isn't it? That's like my life goal at the moment <laughs> yeah. <I've seen> so, <laughs> so just quickly before we go um i would just like to know when it comes to mental health specifically in young people is there anything in not necessarily in, in our current global climate but in in recent times is there anything that you would say is like, yeah, that that is what I want to tackle. That is, the, it's that specific mental illness or it's that specific group of people. Or are you just like, there's so much to do, let's just get it done. I think I go through stages. I focus on what I'm working on. So mm -hmm. it's, it's more, it's like, let's, there's so much to do let's tackle it all but yeah. it's very much i'm focusing on this right now right and i'll focus on this right and i'll make it a small difference here and a small difference here and hopefully that turns into something big eventually yeah that's it's a pretty good way to do it because that way you you sort of tackle a lot of things in a much shorter space of time whereas if you went for every single duck in the pond at once it'd, it'd be like whoa okay what 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 is it you're asking here yeah okay well thank you so much for joining me today that was really actually really insightful it's good to hear how another country oh have we got a little little friend joining us barking and i don't know why <laughs> well anyway it was good to hear the insight of obviously in another country and um, that was really awful so thank you alex and we'll all see you very soon hopefully thank you so much for having me it's been great oh no worries <laughs> bye alex see ya